yeah, a bit of a different location to start this vlog off. Hello everyone, my name is Kieran, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, it's the first home league game of the season against Doncaster Rovers. Hopefully we can improve the start of the season we had, of course, the 3 0 loss away to Accrington. But following the 3-1 win against Charlton Athletic in the Cup, you know, there's a reason to be optimistic here. So, yeah, let's get straight to the ground. I mean, we've got a uh, performer on the streets in New Bordian, so that's kind of cool. Great right that. Um, predictions, I'm going to go for a 1-1, and hopefully we'll uh, at least see an improvement. I want to see a goal here, yeah, it'll be great. Lineup is out. It's very similar to the one against Charlton. The only difference, I believe, is that Lewis is starting. So, yeah, I mean, it worked last time out. Looks like we're running the four triple two again. Uh, McLaughlin Lewis at left and, well, left and right back, of course. You've got Delaney and um, Jameson as centre backs, Townsend and goal, of course. Bennett and Morris as CDMs attacking midfielders, being Charlesley and Wildig, and then Will Evans, Seb Palmer holding up front. Strong bench. Yeah, if it's anything like the Charlton game, I think we're in for a good one. Doncaster fans are going come out in numbers, to be fair, not bad. Yeah, fair enough. Class, I love it. watching you for picking balls around you know pressure there's numbers up front which is always something you like to see the switch of formation has clearly worked like yeah look at all the numbers up front trying to get the ball here but uh, it's uh it's it's incredible it's something i've never really uh i've ever really seen but as i say that 
Yeah, I mean, I apologize about some of the dodgy camera work that's going to happen in this video. I can barely see what's going on just because my eyesight isn't great, but you know what? Here we go. That's crazy. I know you're not going to be able to really see that. He's down the line. Uh, oh, they've called for an injury on Will Dig, I think. Uh, yeah, it's off, offside and we're all sort of stopping from potential injury. I believe that's the Will Dig, so um, not ideal. But how far are we into this game? I can't actually see the clock. Uh, about 11 minutes or so, and we're doing incredibly well. Will Dig's back up, and I assume, I assume we're ready to kick back on real on the other side of the pitch I don't you're not gonna be able to see that it's just 10 minutes or so there you are already the uh, pace of Jameson so um that's that's nuts he's just beaten a uh, attack of a pace on the attackers in front of him so clearly Coffin mentioned that he was uh, you know fast when we signed him clearly that's turned out to be a uh, true and I've seen that I know I've said it so many times, but I need to reiterate how the pace and the intensity we're pressing them um, very much see. I would say it seems like a counter attack kind of thing, but Doncaster are really having the ball to create really anything. So it literally is just a press, and you know, we're having one or two defenders marked by three forwards, and it's causing a lot of pressure, meaning they're passing back to the keeper a lot more often than I thought they were going to. They're having a chance here, and nah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's... A, I don't know... Oh, I, oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's too real! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> it's in! It's too real! Oh, Rodney Braid is a force again! It's flat! I love it! We're back! Come on! I don't even know who scored that! But I saw it in the net and... Like I said, it's probably going to be poor in terms of quality because uh, I kind of can't see that far because there's a the camera in the way, there's uh, the bench in the way, but it's 2-0. It's incredible. What a start. We're only 14 minutes in. Count it. It's class. Wow. A post-match announcers after this is going to be great. Twenty minutes. That first half hour. Um, is that Joe Ironside coming on? Oh, he's, you know he looks pretty dead. They're switching formation. They're bringing off the defender for Ironside. <laughs> it looks like they've switched. Uh, Doncaster have switched to a five slash three back, uh, three defenders, some wingers. Uh, maybe a bit more uh, narrow as opposed to the uh, dedicated wingers. I believe Joe Ironside, like I said, is on. So. Uh, we're gonna see if it really makes any. Uh, we're really gonna see if it makes any difference to um, the way Doncaster play because it's very clear they need a bit of a switch up. Head of surely. Similar to earlier on in the game, we've got them so high up the field that they can't create anything. I don't know how uh, Joe Ironside's really gonna. Uh, you know, he's a dangerous player, but I don't know how he's going to really make anything if uh, he's not getting the service. And at the minute, he couldn't really be getting much less. We're uh, 
I don't know where that's going, but you know, I guess that's the stuff. Oh, we're 44 minutes and 40 seconds in, so we're very close to finding out how much stoppage time. I think the most we'll get is because of the celebrations we've had. We might get maybe two or three minutes. I'm not expecting much here. Five minutes. I generally think most of that is from um, celebrating. First 20 minutes, you know, they haven't been able to switch on and we've been all on, um, you know, pushing up for goals. We've been actually finishing chances. It's been incredible for the first 20 minutes. And then, you know, the rest of the half, we held it. Um, we made a few chances, could have been four or five, in all honesty, but literal tiny errors, you know, that have stopped goals. They haven't really created anything despite switching formation around 25 minutes into what looked like a 3-5-2. Um, I was saying to uh, Chris or Taff earlier um, that, you know, I hate to be pessimistic, but if we can do that in 20 minutes, you know, it's a way that they probably can as well. But he made the good point of, you know, they haven't created anything all half and we haven't stopped creating things. So it really is a breath of fresh air that I never really thought I'd uh, experience. It feels like we've kind of turned the block of being able to uh, finish things, but that's easily uh, just on one game. And, you know, next game we can go on and have a million chances and not convert one. But as of right now, I cannot really say anything negative, which... You know, for League Two football and for the uh, pes pessimism of fans in you know the past month or so, very positive sign. Three 0 at half time, and we are going to be going to second half now. What a finish! Outside the box, he's hit it on his left foot and drilled it in the bottom corner. It's four 0 Gutted I missed that because I was literally looking away. But I see I was looking away. I saw the goal, but you know I wasn't recording it, but here we are. Uh, Rose coming on. I don't know who um Doncaster number seven is, but it looks like they're making it essentially whoever number nine is coming off or 30. I can't say I know um players off by their shirt numbers, but it looks like we're looking at a corner for uh, Doncaster, and this guy's pretty tall, he's 36, so if they want really anything to have a hope of coming back here, they might need something here. Formation again, I believe that is. Um, I believe that's you coming on. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, he signed from Rotherham, I'd like to say, and he's coming off the senior. So it it's another attacking, um, another attacking change to say the least. Let's be entirely honest, but we'll see if he can make any change. We're 67 minutes in, and that is all five gone. Cash the subs gone. 24 for 11, yeah. Wow, Will Diggs coming off. Weight's coming on. Wow, it's a late streak. Yeah, Will Diggs, always reliable, isn't he? James Wade now comes on for the final, I don't know, 15 minutes or so of this game. Looks like we're making another sub. Matty Bonswell comes on for number 20, Harry Charsley. What a game he's had. Incredible being up. Uh, it's into playing that game against Charlton in the cup, and here he is. I can't even tell. Um, we're seeing Kane come on for Shane McLaughlin now. I couldn't even tell originally who that was, but Lewis Kane making his debut and what a game McLaughlin's had. He had that incident that you would have seen earlier on in the video. That little fight with uh, 
the Doncaster man, but we're now gonna see about eight minutes along with added time of pain. Nearly four K ten it's beautiful. Will Evans comes off. Nathan Woods. Wow, not a bad reception at all there. Eh? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Nathan Woods comes on for his team starting from Penny Bond. Absolutely ecstatic to see him get some minutes on the pitch now. And number, I believe that's Rye, isn't it? Coming on for Set Palmer Holden, yep. Off comes Rye, off comes Seb Palmer Holden. Yeah. I'm sure we'll do an extra uh, in-depth match analysis, but first 20 minutes, three not thanks to some great press, um, never gave on guest of the comfort to, you know, get into the game, in all honesty. And it's something that I've rarely ever seen, you know, a team press that high and have that level of a success. So I really do uh, hope that you enjoy this video. I think it's in terms of clips, I haven't had yet, of course, but in terms of clips, I'm sure this is going to be one to uh, remember. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, trying to hit 200 as soon as possible. Support the channel whatever way you see fit using my links in the description. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this. And take care.